And we are live, finally! It has been a good few days since I've been able to find the time to stream with everything that's been going on. And there have been a few changes, um, first and foremost of which, while I was mining for some gold uh, for the uh, potion array down here, which we do have some glistering melon over here. I managed to die, so no armor now. I did have some spare tools. Uh, I think I ended up having to do the enchant on the sword, but that's a pretty good um, first time enchant. Sharpness three though. So uh, we may end up working on that tomorrow, which I should also be able to find time to stream. However, this morning, I'm only gonna have like an hour or so. So uh, project for today, I actually wanna finish what we were trying to do last Capecraft stream which is the, uh, da, 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 da. what's it called? The tunnel to the cove. Now we're not gonna bother with the uh, nether portal placements, uh, but I did find a better way to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to get the nether tunnel design set up. And I wanna try and get an elytra set up too, because we're gonna be moving quite a bit today. Where am I going? I need to go this way. I'm still trying to remember, like, how everything is laid out here, because it's been... Like, I've only been able to spend, like, an hour or so playing each day. It's been quite frustrating. So here are my mending books. We may have to trade for unbreaking books. Fortune. Book touch. Yep. Let's go get some unbreaking. Hopefully he is not dead. Yep. Bookshelf. You are a silk touch one, so we're going to have to punch. One. Two. And three. Loyalty, unbreaking three. There we go. Okay. So now we head back up without an elytra. Now we're also going to have to get a shulker box for more fireworks. Let's see. That should work. And we're going to need gunpowder, but we can go down there once we get everything else sorted. Now, my question is, do we still have an anvil here? We do. Okay, so mending and breaking three. We can stick the rest of these guys over here. Now, we need to come up to the top and grab a shulker box from here. No. Hello, XX Beast. Welcome to the stream. Where do I have my spare shulker boxes? I just swear I had some. Hmm. Oh wait, I know where they are. They're over here. Thank you for the follow, XX Beast. Please let that be an empty one. It is. Okay. And you can go there. And the box turns purple. So now we're gonna come over here. Hopefully we've got a crafting table somewhere around here. If not. So we're just gonna do that. I don't know if I actually just grabbed 9 or a larger amount. I have grabbed a larger amount, which would be 11. So we're going to stick those there and travel to a crafting table. That should be here. So paper, 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 and the beauty of crafting fireworks. So this should give us each three stacks for each craft. We have nine crafts we can do going to be three rows of nine stacks okay three rows or two rows of nine stacks one row of eight stacks and 63 now and let's not split the paper up perfect why do i keep doing that we're going to use that stack then perfect and now we've regained flight perfect and i love that um I have now died, for one. And for two, uh, James's part of the mod is now working, where if you don't have an elytra texture, it's uh, actually displaying an elytra texture for you. And there's my stuff. Beautiful. That one, that one, that one, that one. Torches, food. Got it. Okay, now let's put the rest of this stuff away. And we need to go looking for... Coral. So I don't think I have, come on, homes, 
Uh, home, save, spikes, the mesa, gravel, outpost, podzel, spider, nether, pigs, new nether. Uh, the Isle of Ice build. I think that was a mistake. Bad. Let's see. We're going to go to the Dynamap. We're going to check that out. See where the closest coral reef that is not our cove is. Okay. So, it's not a coral reef, but it is a biome that could contain one. That's a coral reef. Okay, so we just need to head to the cove. And go a little bit northwest. Let's just fly to the coral reef then. Coral reef should be this way. So, how's everybody been doing the past week? Uh, since I have been MIA. It's been quite interesting for me. I'm uh, learning the ins and outs of my new job. And really finding that I think I'm going to enjoy it as things go forward. Just need to balance out this um, uh, scheduling with training. That's really been what's killing me. They're running me 30 to 40 hours a week for training at the moment. Which I'm not used to whatsoever. So, used to having more time in between each thing. Okay, so here's the cove. Should be able to keep heading in this direction and find another... Uh, what's this called? Guys, what is the coral area called? Coral reef. Uh, yeah, we keep running into walls here. We're going to have to slow down so we can actually see where we're going. Okay, so here's some light blue water. Come on, come on. I am seeing no reef. Wait, here it is. Perfect. So, let's go home. I should have set a home there. We need, um, what is it called? Do do puffer fish, nether wart. Where am I keeping nether wart? Okay, puffer fish, nether wart, and then I think it's glowstone. Potion, brewing, Minecraft. Beautiful. I need you. I love how this has to send me through like seven different pages. Okay, so we have pufferfish and redstone, not glowstone. Okay, so pufferfish, redstone, now we need glass. Okay, now we can head up and get our nether wart and brewing stands. Cool. And crafting table is on the floor. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Nether wart. Uh, you should not be there. What is this? One, two, three. Nether wart. And now we've got pufferfish, redstone. Pufferfish, redstone. One, two, three. No, nether wart. Pufferfish, redstone. And that should make us some water breathing potions. Cool. So we're going to stick the rest of those supplies here. Ah, in case we have to make those again. One should already be... No? Ah, that's the other ones going off. Okay, fair enough. And then this one is now water breathing. Perfect. Is it about to be night? No, it's about to be morning. Jump in the bed. Ah, dang it. Too late. Okay. Uh, what is this? It's obsidian. We don't need that yet. Hmm. I feel like there's something else that I needed from here. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we might as well grab another shelter box. Just in case we need it. Okay, so you should be done. We're going to leave with those. And then we're going to come out front. Grab one of the shelter boxes I have laid out. Wait a second. It is turning to night. What is wrong with me? Up. And top floor. Got it. Okay, so it should be home build. 
And that's that. That's the tree farm. That's home. We need to head this way. Okay. So heading out this way should bring us to another... Um, this thing. As we found earlier. Why can I not remember what those are called? Coral reefs. Uh, it should bring us to another coral reef. Which will allow us to gather coral now that we have a potion of water breathing. Hopefully we can find it again. Shouldn't be too hard. It seems pretty big on the map. There we go. Is it not finding your map? Uh, your map. Your song. Uh, you can request it by the song link from Spotify. Also. So that should work a little bit better in some cases. So I'm not too sure what colors we're wanting just yet. Just kind of thinking, okay, we need coral. Why am I a moron, guys? We can't put coral in the nether. It's just going to die. Hmm. It'll turn gray. There's no way for us to keep it alive in the nether. At all. Hmm. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Oh, look, a drowned. Yeah, knockback is going to be fun. <laughs> I've yet to have knockback on a sword in this world. Uh, let's walk away from that. So, we have a little bit of coral. But my question is, do we really want to have dead coral in our nether tunnel? Or did I really want the living coral? I think I wanted the living coral, but there's no way to have that in the nether. Because that's not how coral works. Ah, that's one of the situations where I feel like Mojang put, um, like, game design above the aesthetics of the game. Which kind of stinks, but I see why they did it. So, I think we're just going to hold on to this coral and come back to it later. Go check out the tunnel design. Because there's not really a way to do what I wanted here. So where to put coral? That's food. Hmm. Uh, probably this one. Uh, that one would probably go in plants. You can go here. And then that's a water bottle, so it can be thrown away. Potions. Hello, potions chest. Okay. Well, let's go check out our nether tunnel. Uh, let's grab some stone as well. So that should be down here. Keep forgetting, I don't have feather falling anymore, so we've got to be really careful with that. So, our nether tunnel is a bit of an odd shape. Which I don't quite remember why I did that. Uh, but I'm going to change the shape up a little bit today. Okay. So this is our nether tunnel. It's too wide. Thank you for the follow, nerdster. Happy to have you. So we're going to make it three wide, like I did with the other nether tunnel. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, because it's a rather short tunnel, comparatively. I think the, um, the tunnel all the way out to the end was a little bit longer. So we've got a little bit to dig out here, and then areas to place going out that way. However, we've also got to mine the stone going out that way. Love how we have uh, water breathing in the nether, by the way. So, designs for the nether tunnel. I was going to go with coral, and fairly similar design to what we had going to the nether, but with coral as a highlight. However, considering you can't keep coral alive in the nether, that design's kind of gone down. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, we obviously want to do the highlight and a fairly similar design. But I'm not too sure what we would do for a highlight if it's not going to be coral, given it's a cove. You'll we could do acacia. Um, thank you for the follow, so Turdtastic. Interesting name, happy. though. Um, we could do acacia. I think that that could work, since it's pretty much all a um, an acacia biome. I think it's a savanna. So... We could do that, and I think that could work out pretty well, because not only do we have the bright color of the acacia wood, 
But we also have the logs themselves that would match the theme pretty well. And I've got quite a few of those stored up, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So that's definitely an option. Willing to get some feedback on that front. Oh, thanks for the follow, Chertastic. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go with Acacia there if anybody doesn't feel like that's a thing. So we would do splitting it into fours. Same as we did with the nether tunnel design for the end. And then every so often change the design depending on what it is. So open design, enclosed walls, um, and possibly like variations within that as well, rather than just doing open and closed. Not sure though, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Now we did stone bricks and andesite before. Uh, with acacia, we could probably fit granite into the palette pretty well, too. Um, just because they're similar in color-ish. Uh, and I've got some granite stored up from mining, so we could do that. So where we've got stone bricks, acacia logs, acacia planks, stripped acacia wood, granite, andesite, and I don't think diorite's going to fit too well. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty well laid out. Why do I have a shulker box down here? I think that's stone. It's either stone or obsidian. I'm trying to remember what we were doing the last stream. It was like we were laying out where the nether tunnels, or the nether portals are. We had that in our inventory. So that's got to be stone. Okay, so we have made it to the end of this wall. Now going backwards, we have two options. We can either go top, top, bottom. Or we can do one at a time and have twice as much walking. Interesting thought. Uh, so we can have twice as much walking or we can have twice as much camera movement. I don't think it makes too big of a difference which one we do as far as time goes. I'm going to mine the same amount of blocks, but we could do this. Or we could do this and just keep going. I think we're going to do it this way. Just because it seems a little bit easier to just go, hey, we're going to head this way and then come back. Because we're going to have to lay this all backwards and then go home. I don't know. Probably not too big of a deal. I like this lava flow. Nice and placed to where it's not really going to be in the way. We may have to move it, but we're not going to have to worry about things burning because fire tick is turned off. So that's nice. So I actually ended up having a pretty interesting experience uh, the other day. So I'm working at FedEx now, which means I end up shipping things. I had somebody come in needing to ship um, employment paperwork for a job. But it was a job that I had applied for. <laughs> uh, and they got the exact same position I had applied for a couple of months ago. And I just thought that was really funny because... Instead of getting the position I had applied for at that company, I got this position. So uh, I just thought it was weird that we ended up meeting um, when I was in training and she was looking to get her employment paperwork sent through. Just kind of an interesting happenstance. So not exactly the most intriguing story, but it was definitely interesting because I had kind of been hinging on getting that job because it was work from home. And one of my biggest issues with maintaining a job right now is transportation. One of the reasons I've been running so short on time the past week or two um, is it takes me three hours to get to and from work with the training location they have me at. So yeah, I have to stop stream in like half an hour or 45 minutes or so. Um, and then I won't actually be getting to work for like four hours from now. So yeah, uh, nice. Uh, the bus system here in Columbus is absolutely horrible. Though I'd imagine it's better than some places because we are a large city. Now this, I'd imagine it's just going to be easier to do this. Because it keeps pretty well paced with you just kind of shifting along. So... Not really a way to make this any faster. Now, when we're going back and forth, building the wall up on the side, what we can end up doing is going two blocks up, two blocks up, and then, hmm, and then when we get to the top, it would just be part of the wall. 
I don't know. This whole thing, it's like, you can make it super efficient, but at the end of the day, it's not really worth it. You know, spending more time trying to figure out how to make it efficient versus just kind of doing it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of the way Minecraft ends up working out. It's like, eh, sometimes it's just better to do it. Okay, so we need to come back a little bit. Go here. And then, yeah, here is exactly what we're going to do up top. We're going to go that one to this one, that one to this one, that one to this one. And just kind of go backwards a little bit. Maybe. Uh, you? What about you? Okay, and here. G. Hmm, definitely not doing the alphabet. A little bit more difficult than I had imagined. One, two, one, two, one, two. See, you can get into a flow. It just takes a minute. Okay, um... It's not going to look great up against the window. We could probably move that lava flow over by one and be fine. Let's see, how's that laid out? Yeah, we could move that over. Perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just keep going backwards. And I've made a mistake. Beautiful. And... Come on. One, two, three, four. Four. You know what you're doing. This isn't that hard. But you're still making mistakes. And one, two, please. Okay, so you're definitely not doing the alphabet. Would you mind explaining what your gibberish means, meant page? I'm quite confused. You're just saying letters, they're not even words. What is that? That's not the right spot. What's up, Stella? Uh, can you help me in game, please? Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, okay. So, just a moment. I want to finish up this row. So, uh, what's a block you placed there recently? I can't really find it without a block. There's that. Middle click. I have to, like, middle click with my thumb, which is awkward. My actual middle click button's broken. Okay. Okay, come on. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, Ment Page, what are you doing? You keep saying letters, but they don't mean anything. I don't know what's going on. And one, two. Got it. Okay. Sella, what's a block? CO, look up, user. I'm like, why is there a voice? Because you've joined a stream. I have a few requests. Fire away. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Map is missing in my base. Okay. I will need to know a block to find your base, though. Da -da -da -da. Need a block. Find your bed. Actually, I need to provide a username there. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Okay, so I look up a block you placed to... Okay, so I look up a block to find the position... Okay, I look up the position of a block that you placed to find your bed. So I need a block type that you've recently placed there to find where your bed is. Okay, purple blocks. Yeah, look up user, Stella, block, purper. Time, I'm, I'm going to say like two days. Okay. I'm home. 
Uh, da -da -dum. Pillars and and some bricks. Okay. So let's do pillars then. Per per pillar. Okay. TP sixteen nine nine eight thirty one. Uh, is what Discord? Ten, nine, six, five. Is this it, Sala? Like above a nether portal, end portal. Cool. There we go. Cool. So now I need to see where uh, the redstone and map is broken. Hello, real aliens. Okay, so we've got... Bozel, perfect. Interesting idea with the water on the sides. This is a, sim this is a simple disposing bin and it doesn't even work. Um, let's see. You're never powering the dropper anywhere. So I am confused as to why that was a thing. Wait a second, you're quasi-powering the disposal bin. That's why it's breaking. <laughs> it throws things away, but then it gets stuck on. Uh, da -da -da. So I'm like, why do I hear a voice? And then I realize I have Mixer open. Good job. Okay, so it's kind of working, but you should really be directly powering it. So you could put a couple of redstone here, or... Hmm... Trying to think of how to do this with the way you have it set up. You could face the dispenser downwards and power it from this side. That's really the most common way that I see it done. Um, da -da -da. So my friend spawns and gets heads. He gives me one and I play with it for a couple of days. Um... I'm confused by what you mean, the real aliens. Okay, what about the chests next to it? The sorting system. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see if there are any items backed up. I'm not seeing any. Can you try and sort something real quick? stuff in the chest oh because your chest is privated you need to add the redstone tag that's the issue okay so we had an issue where you could remove items from chests that are privated with a hopper um so we had to fix that and now you have to add the redstone tag you definitively have to you cleared a mountain. That's awesome. So now it should be removing. There we go. So, yeah, now you have to have that redstone tag. Uh, it wasn't like that before, but that allowed people to steal from chests. So, yeah, kind of better to have it this way. Cool. I'm confused as to why... You would power this by quasi-connectivity, but I guess it works. <laughs> yeah, this does seem to work, but it never updates the comparator. Hmm. This is an interesting little design. <laughs> like, when you actually run out of items, the display on the comparator just kind of sits there. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I think I'm still going to... Yeah, I'm going to go here. Okay, uh, oh no, my master script broke. Okay, TP Stellapara, 
Oh, the map. Yes. On my way. Hello. Yay, we get to walk across an ocean. I like how you can actually go a little bit faster by running with an elytra. And let's see where this map is. Yeah, I can't go up that side. It was a creeper. Sadly. Uh, da, 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 about 123 hours ago. Yeah. Creepers can kill item frames. Not much I can do about it, Sela. Sorry. Yeah, it stinks. Okay, I gotta reload my master script. It is broken. Reload. Boom. Perfect. So, uh, can you get it to be fixed later, like the plugin? Uh, it's supposed to be like that, as far as I know. Uh, we're only supposed to prevent players from breaking item frames. Uh, we still want creepers to, but I think James has considered that. Um, it's just kind of up in the air at the moment, but it is possible to grief with creepers. So, yeah, we've considered it, definitely. Not a problem, and thank you. Okay, so let's get rid of this nether rack, and then we need to go back and continue uh, lining the nether tunnel. Okay, there we go. So, another story from the past week, since I'm a little bit behind on those. Uh, let's take that off. I made Golden Red Panda this cape, and I thought it was really fun to make, because it uses a really cool feature in Photoshop called Content Aware Fill. And basically, uh, Panda had a, a an image that didn't match the template at all. It was a 16 by 9 image, or 16 to 9 image, um, that you wanted to... F uh, yes, I am the real aliens. That he wanted to fit against the cape template, which is very clearly not 16 to 9. Um, I'm not really doing much yet. I'm just kind of laying it out, and it's pretty short. Um, so, the issue was, it wasn't going to match up against the template. So what I was able to do with Photoshop is you can highlight an area and then tell it to take that area and be smart about copying and pasting it against it. So matching colors, matching shapes and patterns, and uh, basically fill an area around the image to match, uh, match the ed ed uh, edges of the image, if I can actually talk. So I was able to place the image that he wanted on the center of the cape, then fill the edges of the image with content aware fill. And it ended up turning out really cool. Um, there's a couple of things I want to change. So this bottom area here is actually the edges of the stars. I think that would be a lot cooler if it followed the whole edge or if I could get rid of it. Right now it's only on some of the edges. So it ends up being a little bit weird. Uh, the other thing is uh, that really weird, like, mesh at the bottom. I couldn't quite figure out how to get rid of that. Uh, how can you have Optifine and Capes mods? Uh, one, I don't have Optifine, sadly. And two, Optifine is compatible with fo both Forge and uh, Fabric now. So that's how. Hello, Sergeant. Welcome to the stream. See, this one ends up being a lot easier than the downwards one, so that's a thing. So what do I do? What mod loader are you using? Not a problem, Zella. Because it largely does depend on what mod loader you're using. Oh, look, I almost fell in lava. Uh, so Forge and Fabric are two what are called mod loaders. A mod loader takes a file and, like, mixes it with the game to where there's, like, combined code. You use Forge. Well, it's super, super easy. Um, all you have to do is download the preview version of Optifine and drop it in your mods folder. That simple. Uh, Fabric is a little bit more complicated. You need a couple of APIs, and 
it's currently crashing a lot. So, so the 1.14.4 preview version, yes. Not the normal release version. Yeah, we had to do like that block and the bottom block of the wall and it was super annoying. But this is nice and fun. If I wasn't messing up. Okay, and now we get to run all the way down here. One, two. Okay, now this is where it can get a little bit sketchy. I like that we actually have to surround our nether tunnels in stone now because of gas. It's awesome. Why can't we make scaffolding go down? I don't know. Can you think of a good way to actually do that, though? Like, out of the controls that they already have set up. Can you think of a good way to do that? Because I'm thinking about making a mod that uh, overrides the scaffolding behavior. The issue is that there aren't that many, like, nice controls available to it. Like, I can understand why it's so awkward to use. There's a lot of functions you're wanting to get out of it, but it's already pretty awkward. I would love to be able to place blocks below a block you're standing on, though. The only way I could think of doing that, you're standing on this block. It's not going to let you place anything there. So what it would do is if you know, it knows you're standing on it, it knows you can't place it there. If it cancels a block placement, it would just place it below. But that would get super annoying because like you're like, okay, I'm going to place, oh wait, I'm standing. And now you're placing a ton of things below that you didn't want to place. Stand on a block plus shift place. Possibly. Not if you got a shift. Oh geez, I almost died again. Yeah, that could definitely work. But again, I feel like that could cause some issues. Control could work too. So, I actually have a couple of notes for changes I'm wanting to mod in. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, coding projects. Scaffolding redo. Perfect. So, jump while sneaking to descend is one. So currently, if you sneak at all on scaffolding, you end up descending. And that's super annoying. Because there are times where you just want to sneak on the scaffolding. Like placing it against a container block. Or like, I'll end up sneaking just because I'm close to an edge. Um, another one is a control click on the top to fill out a platform. So if you're standing on a single block of scaffolding, I would want to be able to control click on the top of the scaffolding and it's filled out the entire 5x5 five five area. That kind of thing. Well, I guess it'd be 11x11, 11 11, but still. Oh, we got to fill this roof in. Awesome. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's not square, though. Is it not square? I thought it went out five blocks in each direction. Okay, we gotta test this. You can make entire square. Yeah, that's it. So... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna be enough space. Because distance to support. Right, but it's the same in each direction, isn't it? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it doesn't make a square, it's a... Okay, I see. So what I would probably do then, let's see. Is I would make it a square. And cut it off at like here. Yeah. So I would make it a square on 90 degrees. I think it would have to be a server side mod. Uh, because it changes how it works. It wouldn't be something you could do client side. So what I would end up doing is this. 
that would be the square that it would fill out. Right. Um, so there's a distinct difference between different types of mods. Uh, so one of the issues you'll commonly run into is you want to do something that requires a block to be changed or an item to be added, but you can't do that as just a client mod like voxel map or uh, Optifine or something like that because it requires server changes. Uh, I can't use just enough items in CC. Right, because it needs information from the server now. Um, it didn't used to. Uh, which is one of the things about uh, new changes in Minecraft. There we go. So, there are a ton of mods like that. Like, if we just look at... And I grab another window here. No, not that one. This one. We just look at this. And we look at... Yeah, technology mods looks like a good one. Baker's Construct, Applied Energy 6.2, Thermal Dynamics, Extra Utilities, Immersive Engineering, and Thermal Expansion are all server-side mods because they add blocks and items to the game. So you can't use those on a vanilla server, and there's good reasons for it. They want to do things that vanilla can't. Um, so everything on this first page here is all server-side mods. Um, and there is actually... A, there is an area of modding where it's changing server-side stuff, but it's literally just um, like you're wanting to alter game mechanics rather than completely overhauling vanilla. A large part of modded... Where did I get campfires? What? I don't know. I'm going to stick those in here. Um, anyway, a large part of modding is completely overriding vanilla. Like Ender.io, instead of using hoppers, you use conduits that can transfer fluid and items and energy. And you end up producing RF with combustion generators and XP farms. And you end up storing XP in an obelisk. So, yeah, Elytra would be helpful. Um, yeah, modded can go quite crazy, uh, which is why server-side mods are important but you don't always need them. And there is another part of modding where it's just changing vanilla enough to be helpful. Imagine if you could take items out of ender chests with a hopper. There is literally a mod for that. Hold on. I think we saw it. No, we didn't. Hold on. Ender chests. No! Did I misspell this? Ender chest. Ender storage. There we go. This is that mod. This is literally that mod, but it makes ender chest private to each person and you have to provide it with a color. That's what these things are on top. Who are you? I am me. Who are you? I don't know. Um, I'm a person with a name and a place. Why do you ask? Okay, so we've got that part of the tunnel sorted. Pretty short. Comic Buffalo 673. Well, on that front, I'm Ma 51, 52, 54. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, though. Okay. Back a little bit. And we've got... Five more blocks? Okay. I know I only did four! Come on, do it right. Is this... This is... This is Nether Highway. This is the nether tunnel to the cove area from my base. I wanted to do this last stream, but I ended up getting caught up in the nether portals at the other side. Rather than what I actually needed to do. Which is uh, the nether tunnel itself. Which I found a better way to do the, uh, the nether tunnels, by the way. Can you invite me? This is a public Java edition server. There is no inviting involved. There you go. So I think we've got this all sorted out now. Sadly, I'm going to have to go in like half an hour, so I don't think we're actually going to be able to finish this all up. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw this chicken off the edge, and nobody's going to cry about it. Die and buy new account to play. No, I don't think that's how it works. Die. Come on. 
No, he's gonna survive. Is he? I think he's gonna survive. He lived. He actually lived. Okay. Do hardcore servers exist? They do. What it generally ends up being is you have a queue to join back. Like they only have 30 players allowed to join total or like 100 or something like that. Um, and then if you die, you get added to the end of the queue. But they're not very popular, as you can imagine. So the queue is generally very short. Uh, please make that portal 3x4. I would if I had obsidian. I'll grab a stack when I come back. Da -da -da -dum, da -dum -da -dum. This one also needs to be enlarged. So I found a really, really nice way. You're leaving? Okay, we'll see you later. I found a really nice way. Okay, that needs you moved. Make me happy, uh, <laughs> thank you, Catch oh, for, for following. Uh, well, see, the thing is, that nether portal uh, in the nether used to be here. So, yeah, that's why it's all the way over there now. I need to relink it up with this one. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to demo... Why did I bury an ender chest? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to fix this. So, nether. No. New waypoint. Nether portal. And we're going to enable it in the nether. And it will automatically do the world division for me. Okay? Oh, wait. I need new obsidian. I just hate it when it generates somewhere else in the overworld. Well, that's why you do what I'm about to do. But we need more obsidian first. I was on the second floor and I missed one. Okay, and we need... You gotta go eat. Okay, we'll see you later. Meh, I wanted to watch more. Well, we won't be going for much longer anyway, sadly. Um, I have to go to work here soon. I'm glad I was able to fit this in. Where do I have... Da -da -da -da. Good luck at school. Nope, I'm going to work. <laughs> I am technically learning, though. So there is that. Uh, thank you for the grass block. Still not sure how to pronounce your name, though. There's that. And a flint and steel. Let's go. Oh, yay. I've uh, jumped, apparently. So that nether portal one should be at home on the other side. At home. Where it should be on the other side. Right there. We need to move here. I love how sh such a short distance makes such a big difference. So we need to center that here. Come on, where are we going? Okay, so back, we're going to be going here. Okay. And then here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And around. No, that's wrong. Now I have to mine an obsidian. Please. Thank you. And back around. Hopefully I can recount properly. And now we're going to land here and go there. And I've misplaced another obsidian. Got it. Middle click and around. Probably should have grabbed another stack of obsidian from the house. Now we can light these and make sure we go back to the right spot. Yay, I've lit myself on fire. There we go, we're home. Okay, now we can remove that other one that we don't need. Okay. You can be destroyed. Perfect. I'm just going to leave the rest of that there. So for this, we've got a couple of design options. We need to go gather the materials we need. So it would be our stone bricks here. I'm going to grab those. I'm going to grab a couple of stacks of those. Uh, what little we have of those ones. And we need... Ooh, I think that one's been destroyed. Must have been on me when I fell in lava. 
So now we need to make a new one. Stone cutter. And we've got those. Let's see if we've got a shulker box of stone anywhere. We have an empty shulker box. We've got that one. Let's go fill it up. Okay. And here. Put all the stone in there. A little bit more. Okay. And we want to grab the fireworks we put in here. And now we go home build and we should have acacia in the chest over here so at least one aha acacia awesome so now we can just go through this nether portal and that should bring us back it should be the one right at the end of the tunnel perfect okay so that's all sorted let's go back to the beginning And I, at the very least, want to get the design sorted today. So, if we look at this one, we kind of want to have it similar. So, we've got five spaces with a total of six in between each log. So let's start off on a log. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then three across the top. Looks good to me. Now, what we ended up doing is we counted how far each section was. Since we're starting with this section, and it's unlikely to change, let's see what we've got here. So this is 2569. Calculator! Okay. 2569. We need to figure out where this one's at. So it'll be 2569 minus 2529. 2569 minus 2529 equals 40. So we've got 40 blocks. Now, let's try dividing that. It would be easiest to do 10. You can do 10 blocks in between each one. What if we did 6? Yeah. 8. I think we could do 7. Well, let's do 8. So we've got... I think that's including the log. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it would be one, two, three, four. No, we need to have eight in total, not eight blocks in between each one. So eight in total, we'd need to do... No, that's five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now, we've messed that up. How many do we end up with here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we have one, two, three, four, five more spaces here. So that's not including that. So if we shift each of these over by one, start from down here. And we'll have to cascade it. So this one goes over by one. This one goes over by two. This one goes over by three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to go back through. And we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 See, this is the kind of math that I need to just really know inherently, rather than just randomly trying to figure it out as I go. I am desperately bad at math at the end of the day. That sorted out. And we'll just have highlights on each of those. And then at the seven marks, we can go backwards. Like so. Well, seven marks. Not seven marks. So what they would be is we've got three on either side. They're middle marks of the sevens. And now I want to put down my stone cutter and shulker box of stone. And I want to make a stack of chiseled stone. And they are going to go here. 
No, you're messing up so bad. Okay, so there, 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 not there. And I've missed my middle mark here. Okay. Hmm. Now what to do here? We could technically do that. Uh, da -da -da -dum. And then have solid bricks on the edges. And then we want to have some acacia down the middle. Yeah, that's not looking bad. Okay. And then for the walls. Since this is going to be full, we want to make sure we're not showing very much of the background. So we could do that. And yeah, I think this is definitely a situation where we want to make sure we do variation between each. I have more stone bricks. So we want to have multiple versions of this wall that we go down into. Hmm. What if we do this? So one, two, three. No, you're wrong. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then down here, it'll be bottom stairs. Then above those, on some of them, can do full bricks. Not necessarily like a tattered wall, but like a variated wall. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll have to make sure to fill these spaces in as we go along. Luckily, stone bricks are still gas proof. Okay, let's get the same thing done on this side. So we've got some of those, some of these, then same deal up top, going in the opposite direction. And then we've got planks and logs that are going to be stripped. And then same deal from the bottom. And an X. Perfect. And then we want to bring these across. And I have that. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let's get this acacia log here. Oh. Yeah, you're not supposed to be here. I love how my axe doesn't have efficiency. Just saddening. Okay, down a little bit. And across. And now we need to sort out a ceiling. Let's do that maybe. Break these on the sides and have them curve. Two, three. And then we could do slabs across here. And then maybe either acacia stairs or we could do this log again. Not facing that direction, ideally. Hello, Pro Ethan. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's try that out. Yeah, that's not bad. We do need to sort out lighting, though. We could probably have a couple of lanterns hanging from the middle. Ah, uh, my master script broke again. Dang it. Okay, uh, reload. There we go. I really need to sort out why that GUI keeps breaking. It's getting annoying. Lanterns. Perfect. And a rocket. And into the portal. Check this out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that. Okay, lanterns, please. Let's check the light levels. Okay, so if I do... One, two, three, four. It'll be three after. One, two. Yay! Two, three, four. Does that fix that? 
It doesn't. We're going to have a blank spot here. So we'll have to do lanterns there. Okay, that works. Okay. So we got to do lanterns on these spots and then on these cross beams. Looks good to me. I quite like this. Now, we can variate it by moving this part up and down, putting it on the floor, putting it on the ceiling. We can split it, so if we want to move from here to the bottom one in one fell swoop, we can move it from here to here midway through. And then for the open ones, we could have it up top and then have glass here uh, outlined. And I think that's going to work out pretty well. So on that note, that's all the time I have for today. Hopefully I should be able to stream for two or three hours tomorrow before I go into work. But I've got some things to sort out before I leave. So I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice night, and I'll see you then.